Blake Boston is my real name. Scumbag Steve is a me, so he's like a character. Kind of like an alter ego. The original Scumbag Steve, supposed to be Scumbag, everybody knows this person. You know, the person who, when you go to a party, they want a beer. They want one of your beers, your cigarettes. They want to borrow your lighter, steal it permanently. The actual picture itself was on my MySpace. So she takes a picture of me, and she puts it on my MySpace. She's like, yeah, you care? I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck, whatever. So someone saw that. There was someone I was like 16, so this was a while ago. And someone saw that and was like, oh, that dude looks like a scumbag. So you wanna, you wanna tell me I'm a scumbag and a dickhead and this and that? Okay, fine, I'll, I'll flip it up on you. Me and Pigtails, retainer in, which is my retainer. We got some Goosebumps books here, we got some American Girl doll books down here in a backpack. Ermagerd! It's a picture that's made the rounds across the internet. An 11-year-old Maggie Goldenberger epitomizing what it's like to be in those awkward youth years. I didn't expect that. <laughs> it just keeps coming up and again and again. I thought, you know, okay, this is gonna be funny for a week and then it just keeps, keeps growing. I just don't know. Why? The meme has been morphed and photoshopped. Maggie holding the Batman logo, Titanic movie, and cats. One of Maggie's friends uploaded the picture years ago. Well, that was the only one that was uploaded. My friend had uploaded on her MySpace or Facebook or something, you know, and she had it on her fridge. Like, it was just a running joke. He comes driving down this way. He's like, you know what? I come to realize I'm Jesus Christ and I can do anything I fucking want to. And watch this. Bam! And he smashed into this fucking guy right there, pinned him in between that fucking truck. And so I fucking, I hop out, I look over, the guy's pinned there. I mean like, freight train riders know this. Like if you get pinned between something, do not fucking move that shit, otherwise you bleed out. Man, if you started driving that car around again, man, there would've been a hell of a lot of bodies around here. Fucking, I hop on out, and so I grab the bag, I threw it over by that pole right there, and then fucking Buddy gets out, and these two women are trying to help him. He runs up and he grabs one of them, man. Like a guy that big can snap a woman's neck like a pencil stick. So I fucking ran up behind him with a hatchet, smash, smash, smash. Yeah. The, the lady said you saved her life. She was the one who got grabbed by that fucker. You know what? <laughs> Fuck is cool. That guy ain't. So he did this on purpose? Dude, that guy was fucking cooked out, man. Like, he's beyond howling. Like, I don't even see any breath in him, you know what I'm saying? Can, can I get your name and where you're from, if you, if you don't mind? I'm Kai. Can I get spelling for you, Straight out of Dogtown, K-A-I. K-A-I, do you have a last name? <laughs> no, bro, I don't have anything. <laughs> it's the photo that turned a checkout boy into a check him out boy and an instant global celebrity. I was so shocked. 16-year-old Alex Lee still can't believe how fast he became famous when this photo, snapped by a customer at a Target store in Texas, went viral last year. So why is his mom crying? Because there's a dark side to Alex's sudden fame in the form of vicious reactions on social media, even death threats. One reads, Alex from Target, I'll find you and I will kill you. To see people be so hateful to a very, very kind person, that part was so disappointing to me. Hi, my name is Ashley Van Pevenage and this is my picture that went viral. I'll be the first one to say that I used to be entertained by many memes, but when it's actually you and you're dealing with all the harsh comments, it's a whole different story. I have never been one to be uncomfortable with going out in public and my natural skin, my natural hair, until this picture was posted. There are millions of comments. It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram. They're very disturbing and nasty comments. Nikki Bell commented, I'll spend some time with her as long as I never see her before 10 a.m. That's pretty hurtful. Um, Eric Page, maybe if she didn't wear so much makeup and actually got some sun on her face and let her skin breathe, she wouldn't have such bad acne. That makes no sense because I've been tanning, I've been in the sun, and that makes your skin worse. So, After this picture was posted and I read all these comments, I lost my confidence. I didn't like going out in public without makeup or without my hair done, but I realized that that isn't the person I am and people's opinions don't matter to me and they shouldn't matter to anyone. Good evening, welcome to Thursday's Midlands Today from the BBC. Our top story tonight, how internet abuse has disgusted the family of a teenager with Down syndrome. 
the mother of Heidi Crowther today appealed to so-called internet trollers to stop posting sick and offensive messages about her daughter. Pictures of Heidi were copied from a parent support group website without permission. They were then posted on other Facebook pages where users were invited to mock young people with disabilities. 16-year-old Heidi Crowther has Down syndrome. For over a year now, she's been the victim of internet trollers. You just feel sick and, and sad that people have got so little respect or, or sort of human kindness, really, that they can do something like this. This is bullying. Kyra Pringle knows the internet can be a terrible place. This is not right. But especially bad when it goes after her two-year-old daughter. She's fought for her life since she's got here. Mariah Anderson was born with chromosome 2 duplication syndrome, a rare disorder that impairs her learning and motor skills. She loves you. <laughs> the two-year-old's life expectancy is grim, but that doesn't stop Mariah from being the darling of the family. Which is why Kyra was horrified when she learned her daughter's photo became an internet joke gone viral. Thousands sharing her daughter's birthday photo online, some photoshopping crude captions, others leaving downright rude comments. The smile that you guys think is funny or the smile that you guys are comparing to a leprechaun, the smile that you guys are comparing to all this disgusting thing, like the, the things that you are saying about my child, she's not a monster, she's not, she's not fake, she's real, she is here. Okay, you guys, this is just you funny. You know just what? Wanted to say that you guys have ruined my life. For I'm gonna tell you right now. Bad. This is from her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks, and I know who it's coming from because I've back traced it, Jeez. and I know who's in there on the news doing it. And you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. You're right. so you one better one. write one more thing or screw with my computer again. You'll be arrested. You End of conversation from her father. You wrote it fucking gonna come and beat her ass. And if you come near my daughter, guess what? Consequences will never be the same. You lying bunch of pricks. But I was told the photo would only be used in print media and for one company. I didn't know that it would be used so widely on the internet and that there would be so many made up stories about it. The caption on the original ad said, the only thing you'll ever have to worry about is how to explain it to the kids. The children in the photo were photoshopped. They don't look like that in real life. Later, people made up a story about the woman in the picture and spread it on the internet. They said her husband figured out she had lied to him about not having had plastic surgery done after the kids were born because they didn't look anything like her. Then he sued her and won. This has totally affected my work. People refuse to believe that I have never had plastic surgery. After this, I only got small roles in advertisements.